Kate Middleton and Prince William had Kate's family worried about the Duchess' future, when the prince did not seem to be committing to his long-term love, according to reports. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are the proud parents of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are now settled in happy family life together, however at one point, the lack of any marriage plans had Kate's mother Carol worried about her daughter. Writing for the Daily Mail in 2009, royal expert Katie Nichol revealed how Mrs. Middleton was worried about Kate's future. A source close to the Middletons told Ms. Nichol, Carol is concerned that Kate's life has come to a bit of a standstill. She says Kate can't get on and do normal things because of the public interest in her. She's of the opinion privately that William should make an honest woman out of her, so that she isn't left waiting in limbo. However, despite rumors of an impending engagement, a senior courtier confirmed, there's no movement on the front, nothing's happening at all. The comments came amid the news that the prince had been pictured staying the night at the Middleton's family home in Berkshire for the first time. By 2009, Kate and William had been seeing each other for eight years, after they met at university in 2001. However, the royal romance had already gone through two breakups. The first came in 2004, when the couple had a trial separation after William wanted some space. Then, in 2007, the pair had another brief split when Kate reportedly wanted more emotional commitment and support. However, by the time of the 2009 reports, unbeknown to the rest of world, the future Duke and Duchess had already made a secret pact of commitment to each other. After the 2007 split, William whisked Kate off to the Seychelles to repair their relationship. Ms. Nichol, in her 2010 book William and Harry, writes, William, who had inherited something of his father's fear of commitment, knew he would lose Kate if he could not give her some form of guarantee. A member of the pair's inner circle told Ms. Nichol, they didn't agree to get married there and then, what they made was a pact. William told Kate she was the one but he was not ready to get married. He promised her his commitment and said he would not let her down and she in turn agreed to wait for him. However, the world would have to wait until November 2010 for the news that the couple were engaged, after William secretly went down on one knee in the Kenyan wilderness. The pair did not even tell family and friends at first, waiting to get back home from their October 2010 getaway. Their unforgettable royal wedding would follow in April 2011. Earlier today, it emerged that Kate and William have removed all mention of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry from their charity. Previously known as the Royal Foundation of Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in Sussex, it is now known simply as the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The change of name form was published by Companies House today, adding more fuel to the rumors of an escalating split. However, palace sources have denied a split and said the name change was an administrative necessity. A source told Mail Online, it was largely about preparing both couples for their future roles, which are obviously on divergent tracks. The Sussexes revealed plans for their own charity, named the Sussex Royal Foundation earlier this year. This week the pair announced Kate Blackett, 48, had been appointed a director of the charity. The businesswoman was named number one in the power list of the 100 most influential people of African or African Caribbean heritage from with the UK in 2015. 